So, as uh, we explained to you, uh, we now have the possibility to use SLT as uh, first-line therapy. As we explained to you, it will be very short. Um, the, before, the trabeculoplasty have very poor reputation because of this, yes, it was, this loss of efficacy over time. Um, the most important that if you do uh, SLT, you should have a very good knowledge on gonioscopy uh, because the, the, the most important pitfalls would be to do the SLT on the Schwalbe line because the Schwalbe line is pigmented. And then to claim that the SLT is not working because uh, you have done the SLT on, at the wrong place. So it's very important. As I explained to you, if we compare the argon and SLT, the frequency is much more lower with the SLT rather than the argon. And uh, as you know, you, you see here the effect of ART and here on the SLT. So, uh, as uh, they explained to you, there is no holes, no fibrosis, no mechanical effects. It's more or less um, um, an effect on the, um, uh, on the lanosome, as uh, my colleague explained to you. If we compare uh, the SLT and the ALT, uh, the short-term efficacy is more or less the same, but uh, it's very difficult to compare all the study published because we have a huge difference between the, uh, the, the size and the number of quadrant who has been treated. 180, 360, and I will discuss that later. Uh, as you know, it's quite easy to do because you have only one spot, so there is no necessity to, to change the spot size, and the duration is the same. The diameter is 400 microns, and you just have to move the energy. Uh, usually you start by 0.6 millijoule, and then if you have a bubble, before, when I start to do the SLT, uh, I have a tendency to decrease the, to, uh, the threshold and then I treat one high of bubbles and I treat over at least 250 degrees. Um, as, because there is a, a positive correlation between the dose energy and the predestined presence. So if you do not treat enough and if you do not treat uh, enough quadrants, you should have a uh, lower effect. Uh, the follow-up is quite easy because the only um, side effects is the intraocular pressure spike and uh, efficacy is uh, just at six weeks. Very few inflammation, very few venous anemia, and I never had that all this type of side effects. There is no contraindication except, of course, angle closure glaucoma and um, all this uh, glaucoma, especially juvenile glaucoma, which are surgical glaucoma. So indication is primary open angle glaucoma, pigmentary glaucoma exfoliative. It uh, should be done, it could be done before the surgery, of course, to avoid polytherapy, but as first line. Why as first line? Because usually we have the tendency to treat first by medical therapy and then to propose SLT after. But we have now the possibility to treat before this awful visual field. And I see a lot of patients refer for surgery or SLT and say, I try all the drops and then I arrive to do something. So the first line therapy for SLT has been proposed long time ago. Uh, by a colleague, uh, a friend of mine from Israel, Shlomo Benamel, it has been published uh, a couple of years ago, as you see. And it is proposed uh, a randomized control, an randomized study uh, uh, with SLT as first line, as primary treatment for open and glaucoma. And as you know, there is now another one study done by a friend from UK, Gus uh, Gazal has been published this study called the LIGHT study, uh, which is a multi-central randomized control trial. Very well done study because investigators enrolled almost 700 patients na naive for glaucoma or ocular hypertension, and they were randomized to have all SLT, all topical medication. So you know it's a huge uh, 
study and complex <laughs> with very uh, close uh, inclusion criteria to so exclude or that explain to you this uh, type of glaucoma. And uh, with baseline population, with um, six centers in UK, mainly white population, and uh, also other ethnicity, so general population. And the primary outcome measure was not only the intracular pressure, was also the uh, quality of light, but mainly the cost effectiveness of SLT as first line treatment. So there are, I will be very sharp on that, but the, the study is very, very um, closed with randomization, but main patients have ocular hypertension and might primary open a glaucoma. It was not proposed in several patients for uh, many reasons. And the follow-up was done this only with, not with, of course, intraocular pressure, but mainly with visual fields and optic nerve evaluation by this uh, old machine, but what old machine is ash team, which will either by retina tomograph to, um, to follow the optic nerve. And the results at uh, three years were that almost 74.2% uh, patient of patients of SLT were drug free, so were controlled without any medications. So very good result for the long-term follow-up at three years. Um, but the other one, the, <clears throat> there is no systemic adverse events associated with LCLT, only one intracular pressure spike and a huge decrease of cost. So it's interesting. So uh, the primary SLT appears to be a very cost-effective alternative to drops with very minimal side effects. But you should be also saying only three years. So uh, I've had the first SLT in France 20 years ago, and we published uh, 12 years results a couple of years ago with a long-term result in my department showing that we have treated 360 degrees with very good results on primary open angle glaucoma and also pigmentary glaucoma. Uh, over 12 years, the decrease was 31.9%, uh, so very good intracular pressure, with decreased number of medications. But the main problem was lost patients. Most problem is that the patient seems or think that they will be cured with the SLT as, for instance, patients who say, I, I have myopia, I would like LASIK to remove my myopia, and I would like SLT to remove my glaucoma. And it's not a classic story. Because initial efficacy was good, but the loss efficacy over time was 10% per year. Of course, no serious complication. So in conclusion, after 12 years, the success rate was very good. The majority of failure we had uh, appears five years after the laser. But remind that intraocular pressure is a poor criteria of success. The main criteria of success would be uh, glaucoma. Glaucoma is a progressive neuropathy. So if the optic nerve is not progressing despite the same intraocular pressure, it means that you win the pattern. Uh, the major risk is a loss of follow-up. But it improves uh, the quality of life and reduce medication or avoid medication. So it could be and should be an option as first-line therapy, but mainly it's obviously an alternative to a heavy medical treatment. Avoid to add, add, add. Thank you very much for your attention.